Hey, this is Chris with Cricut Users and the US Tech Channel. Uh, this phone is currently running CyanogenMod Mod uh, 10. Uh, we're going to upgrade to 10.1. Of course, it is rooted and we do have a custom uh, recovery. Uh, the easiest way to go ahead and do that from here is to uh, launch the browser and go to git.cm. Uh, this is a Verizon uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, so we will be using the D2VZW uh, version. I've already started uh, the download and you can see it uh, right there. So, since I'm in Engine Mod, I do have the option just to reboot and recovery uh, from right here. If you're going from stock, uh, a stock ROM, uh, TouchWiz interface, go ahead and power the device uh, down or hit restart and then hold, uh, I believe, up volume and home to kind of catch uh, the reboot. If the device is completely turned off, volume up, home, and then power, you'll feel it uh, buzz or vibrate. You'll see a little blue script right there, and then uh, once that happens, you can actually uh, let go. You'll actually see the little boost drip right there. A little script pop up after Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, I didn't see it. Uh, maybe you guys caught that. Um, because I'm on 10, I can go right to 10.1. So I'm going to go install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. Uh, power selects, uh, up and down, rockers will move you uh, up and down. Go download, and there we have it, 10.1. Haven't updated this device in a while. I'll go yes. I'm not going to wipe my data. Just going to go right into the, up, uh, the update. So it is a small package. If uh, you haven't used uh, CyanogenMod Mod before, you should uh, go ahead and download the latest G apps. You can search Wiki uh, G apps, and you should find some download links to the latest uh, versions, so you can get your your Gmail, your Maps, and stuff. Um, uh, your uh, Play Store. I'm gonna go back. I've seen it recommended that you go to Advanced and just wipe the Dalvik. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'll reboot. I'll go back here and reboot system now. There really shouldn't be that many updates uh, in the 10.1. I mean, there is some uh, user face inter -twe uh, interface tweaking. Uh, it looks like if you can't find G apps, type wiki and then cm and then space G apps. So three words: wiki, cm, G apps. Should be able to find it on uh, Google. So they talked about telephony split and multi-user quick settings and lock screen uh, widgets. Uh, also some improvements with uh, MMS. I definitely prefer personally CyanogenMod Mod over uh, any TouchWiz interface I've ever seen. Multi-user might just reference uh, different settings. Then uh, like profiles, sound profiles, and things of that nature. For the SMS, they talk about SMS split, gestures, templates, uh, quick messaging. Those are a few of the things that might be uh, in this upgrade. You definitely will want to wipe if you're coming from a different ROM. For example, the stock TouchWiz. Alright, so that did take a uh, couple minutes. Go ahead and unlock it. Uh, some people did mention problems uh, with the clock. Okay, so this is the stock clock. It is kind of tweaking out here. It does have a built-in uh, timer. Stopwatch. We did see that mentioned. You can see that go around the circle as it completes. Uh, pretty neat. Let's go into the stock messaging app. Here's that multi-profile. Uh, I really did like uh, the toggles right up top uh, without having to touch anything, but uh, this actually gives you more room. We can still dismiss uh, notifications uh, individually. 
Uh, here's that multi-profile thing right in the corner. So you can click the clock right there. If we click the left. I'll show the timer in here. Let's click the multi-profile. Uh, we have Kerry Newsom's uh, profile up here. Or uh, looks like that leads to a, a contact. Uh, it shows us the network that we're attached to and some of the uh, other toggles right here. It's kind of neat. Some of these widgets, of course, are widgets that we've uh, installed, like the beautiful widgets. Doesn't look like it has a link to go into settings. Oh, there it is. And turn it into negative mode. This is probably stuff that was already in Science Mod 10. You have profiles, a lot of customization in Science and Mod. So I really like it personally. If you're flashing, you can change it to NV only. Flashing the phone to another carrier. 4.2.1 So it does use the uh, the new camera uh, here you can see push and hold um, well you can f use it to focus you can push and hold uh, change the the flash modes uh, change the white balance uh, change which camera you're using and change the uh, the gain really easily from that menu uh, here also can uh, brings up the controls if you just hit that uh, push and you can go into panorama mode or uh, video mode. Menu button doesn't seem to uh, do anything from this interface. So let's go back to the lock screen real quick. Uh, you slide left. Uh, I guess you can put a bunch of uh, items in here. Looks like. You can put some widgets there. There's our timer. Go back to the lock screen. If we slide that left, we can see our messaging. We can add more panels. If we slide it right, it goes directly into the camera. If you go into the settings and system, you can actually change the quick settings panel, which we saw earlier. And if you click notification drawer, you can allow the power widgets uh, to be shown and configure those. So we've got all the toggles uh, back. We can scroll whatnot and go back into the panel. So you still have these uh, features available. So you have lots of customization uh, in this. Uh, you can make the device dream. There's there's so many things you can do with uh, Science Mod 10 that you usually can't do with uh, TouchWiz interface. So for more information about this, go ahead and go to git.cm, download it yourself, install it, search the internet. There's a lot of information about CyanogenMod uh, 10 and 10.1 uh, news stories. I believe it's also available on the Sprint version of the S3 right now. And please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.